Hello, I'm Leslie McBain. Welcome to CTN Member Highlights. Today we're featuring South Portland Recreation, and my guest is Rick Toll, a, a well, you know, it's good to be frequent back. guest here yeah, on the it's show. Good to be back. It's been a good experience. You guys uh, do a great job of helping us get the word out. Yeah. I appreciate your patience. I mean, amateurs like me don't get to work with folks like you all the time. So, Well, and it's wonderful. You're doing great things over there in South Portland. Yeah, we have some great support from the community, a council that understands wellness and how important it is to quality of life. Mm -hmm. And I think that we, uh, as a staff, uh, treasure that opportunity to do it. I think we make some good things happen. And you've got so many opportunities to expand, and this spring is uh, going to start. Oh, Some yeah, I think stuff. we're really excited about the fact that we have the opportunity to always move a little bit forward, mm -hmm. whether it's in programming or at our facilities. So we look forward to this spring and summer having some great programs with our summer camps and adult activities and making sure our maintenance is there so people can use the green belt, and, uh, which is the spine of our program. Uh, but we also look forward to the fact that we have uh, Wilkinson Park and some other places we'll be doing some updates. So people will, in their neighborhoods will be able to see some improvements. Well, we'll talk about all of that, but let's start with some of the programs coming up this spring and summer. Yeah, well, if you, if you uh, want to be involved and be active this summer, without question, you can find a way to do that with us. Uh, the summer programs for kids, I'll start with that, are always phenomenal in, uh, in South Portland. We're really proud of our programming. And uh, Lisa Thompson heads that up for us. And, she, uh, she's got some really good staff coming back, and she's got some really exciting trips and programming curriculum for the kids involving nature. And, you know, one of the things that we're doing this year for the first time in the first program in the state is a program called Character Counts. And there's six pillars to Character Counts, and you can look that up uh, under that, just Google or whatever search engine you use, uh, Character Counts, and you can see it. And it talks about their six pillars of trustworthiness, responsibility, and the, the various aspects of the program and what it means. So we've adopted that program. We'll be um, involving that in our summer camps and our kinder camp this summer oh, and with our staff. And we've got some new banners we put up in our gymnasiums of our community centers and it has had a positive reception so far. Well, it just um, helps these children grow and be responsible citizens of the community. Yeah, the other day I had a young man who decided it would be funny and I was running on our indoor track and he took a Gatorade bottle and threw it across the gym floor to see how far it would skip. Uh -huh. He's just being a kid. Yeah. But unfortunately, there was Gatorade in it. Oh. So from above on the track, <laughs> I asked him, is that a really responsible thing to do? Because that's one of the pillars. Yeah. And so I'm kind of talking to him, and it's ironic, but behind me are those six huge banners. And, <laughs> you know, we talked about it, and one of the older folks that was going around who's there almost every day stopped and said, I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives a, it gives a reference point for you it to talk does. about with the child. Right, and you didn't you didn't say no, that's wrong. You you asked him a question. You asked him to decide. Yeah, because not a, you're not going to be there all the time, and right. I think we often too many times try to decide the answer for the kid before mm -hmm. they actually get to think about it. I'm not. A, I mean, I'm a parent, and I'm you know, there's many ways to raise children, mm -hmm. many ways to teach, but I think that this you know that's a process. When you're not there, what questions are they going to ask themselves? Exactly. Is this the right thing to do? Why or why is it not the right thing to do? That sounds like a wonderful thing to be part of what you're doing this summer with the kids. Yeah, I think it would be great, and we're going to have that program ongoing. It's not just going to be, you know, and, and with that one mm -hmm. summer season kind of thing. We're trying to use it as the kickoff and hope for years to come as we, you know, expose them to the program that they accept it like we do and we can mm -hmm. have fun with it. It's sort of the foundation of everything. Absolutely. That's what we're hoping for. Terrific. So what are some of the programs, uh, you know? Well, you got aerobics. you got uh, adult softball. You know, you got all kinds of, I mean, there's just a myriad of programming, art classes, photography. Oh. So I think the key is our brochure comes out, to, you know, shortly. And uh, to go online and look at that, it's mm -hmm. digital. You can flip through it literally with your... With your finger. Your, your <laughs> iPad, you know. Um, sometimes I use my nose if my hands are busy. I don't know about you. When you're cooking something or whatever. Yeah, really. but, but I think it's, uh, you know, it's really neat to have that. Uh -huh. And um, people can click on various areas and it'll take you right to our registration. So it's really easy. Terrific. And the fees are very, very, you know, reasonable. Yeah. And we don't want to put us, anybody in a position where if they can't afford it. But also for all of our programs, summer camps or adult, if you find a need, you know, let us know because we do have a scholarship program. We will help. And um, it's not just for South Portland residents. That's correct. You can be a resident or a non-resident. Mm -hmm. We welcome everyone into the program. We do try to make sure in some of our programs the residents have priority. 
especially when it comes to aquatics or our pool and things, yeah. you know, because our taxpayers do, you know, support them heavily and right. we want to make sure they, they get primary that they get the, And that's all I think only fair. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, now, uh, you're going into fall, too, um, with some programs coming up. Some, some yeah, I think we're trying to prepare now, believe uh -huh. it or not, for fall and winter. So we have our budget process we're going through, mm -hmm. like all communities. And we've proposed some, I think, innovative ideas for things, one of which is a cross-country ski groomer for next winter. At we had a real farm. main winter this year. Right. So we hope when we do is years to come. We're also preparing for next winter with our Rotarians. They've signed on to be our signature part uh, partner with a new winter fest. Oh, totally. And uh, we're, we're planning that now, and we're looking forward to that process. So mm -hmm. we're really trying to get out ahead of it and plan out for next year those things, yeah. even though it's all, we're looking at the door of spring. <laughs> and there may be a future in uh, kayaking over there. Yeah, I think at Bug Light Park we're looking at trying to partner up with some folks for mm -hmm. uh, the fall, early fall, as a pilot program mm -hmm. so that next spring we can uh, maybe out of that area have uh, regular classes people could sign right. up for. Uh, we have a boat launch there at that facility right. and we have lots of ways to get out on the water. So when anyone listening who wants to partner with you should give yeah, you a call. Yeah, should give us a, a call over yeah. at our main office. Yeah. And uh, we also have Willard Beach, if people forget about that, that mm -hmm. we can launch out of there Terrific. and do classes out of there. We hope yeah. to do that too as well, especially for youth. So it could be as small or as large a gr of an area as possible. Absolutely, yeah. and I think we're, you know, we can do rolling clinics in the winter in our pool. Right. So as we can, we're hoping so to develop the whole an out year-round process and, you know, help yeah. people get a little more uh, comfortable with it. Well, it sounds like you're, you're taking everything with a, a big, solid foundation and, and the, the ability to grow with a program. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to find out more, to register, to look at that wonderful list of offerings. Yeah, they can call us at 767-7650. Uh, mm -hmm. That's our main number uh -huh. and ask questions or get information. You can also go to southportland.org, which is the city website, and click on Parks and Recreation, and you can start going through there, and, yeah. and you can get our, um, our brochure digitally, as I'd mentioned. Uh, you can, you know, find us, obviously, not only on the web but there, but we have a, a hard copy brochure that we can either mail it to you or you can pick up at our facilities. Terrific. And so I, I think there's lots of ways to find us. Yeah. It's really picking which thing you have time for. <laughs> you know, and you go, hey, I, I want to do that, and that, and that. <laughs> well, that. as soon as we stand up and leave here, I'm going to go check it out on the, on the online. So thank you for being here and for updating us on what's happening over in South Portland. Well, I appreciate it. Good yeah. to be here. Thank you. <laughs>